We've all seen a million apps come and go, and most of them tend to fail. Hello Pal was actually launched as a passion project by the founder Kale Wong in China. Um, he started another very successful award-winning company. It was an early education uh, language teaching company. He actually started it to teach his daughter uh, how to speak English and Mandarin. Hello Pal is a social mobile messaging app that uh, surpasses the language learning barrier. You can actually get onto Hello Pal and you can be chatting with anyone around the world within minutes in their language, uh, helping you learn their language and helping them learn your language. Uh, Hello Pal uses um, standard um, translating technology and it has proprietary phrase books uh, which allows you to be communicating uh, text and orally within minutes with Hello Pal with I think to date they've spent less than 200,000 on user acquisition marketing and pushing close to 2 million registered users now so it just started to stick. We've branched out, we've launched Travel Pal, just launched in the last month. Uh, the next one we'll be launching is Translator Pal to help with translation, and then uh, Language Pal, which is more like a Babel and a Duolingo. When we launch these other apps, uh, we can uh, target new users, and each app launches with an active large user base, where an app, a travel app on its own, might launch without the active user base and would fail on that, where we're starting off hitting the ground running.